Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daisha. I am the owner of PGL Planners and this is my YouTube channel where we do everything faith and planning. And today is episode seven of the digital planning, planning series, excuse me, um, for Android. Can't even talk. <laughs> but uh, today's episode is just going to be showing you some of the things that you can do when you purchase a planner, specifically mine, but you can really do this on any planner, whether it be paper or digital. Um, of course, you're going to want to bring it into whichever app you chose to use. I've already done a video on apps, so if you're curious about the ones that I recommend on Android, then I highly recommend you go over there and check that out. My lazy Susan is revealing a little bit of my nose, <laughs> and I'm seeing that now, but it is what it is, whatever. Um, so we are going to go ahead and pull in our planner. I just went into the file manager, and I have Dropbox downloaded onto my device, which automatically gives it access to the files, so you can access it like it were in your own internal storage, which is nice. I like how it works seamlessly into your tablet. I am bringing in the planner itself. And one of the first few things that I personally like to do when I get a new planner is to customize it, at least the front cover. And so I have already gone over stickers, um, which also included covers and widgets. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check out, I believe it was episode six of this series. I'm covering things up because I am currently working on a subscription kit right now and I have some of those stickers inside of a folder and I did not want to show those because yeah it's a surprise <laughs> um, but if you're curious about that April subscription box kit uh, situation then stay tuned to my channel but I'm just gonna bring in my flat lay desk and a cover of choice I think I ended up choosing the smoothie bowl and the um, what do you call it the bunny rabbit cover which is super cute now I see how I brought in that second flat lay desk. I forgot to uncheck it when I chose the bunny cover. But anyway, so I'm putting my flat lay desk on first and then I just go to the lasso and I select the uh, picture tool again so that the bunny picture will come back up to the top. And boom, there she is. It's so cute. It's one of the first few things I like to do when I get a new planner because it makes the planner feel like it's more mine now and I'm starting to kind of put my, my touch on it. So the next thing I like to do is actually put my name on it, <laughs> as weird as it may sound. Um, it's just one of those things you can do. I am about to pick a font. If you're curious about any of the fonts that I use on a regular basis, check out the sub subscription or the description, <laughs> the description box below. There you will find a list of fonts. Those are affiliate links. So if you choose to purchase one of those fonts, then you are choosing to support this channel. And I appreciate you very much for that um, but yes, I am just turning my Bluetooth keyboard on because I want to type. I don't feel like writing. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put my name on this bad boy. I need it to adjust the font. Play around with it when you get a new planner. That is one of the best advices I can give you. Maybe make a dummy planner first and just see what you like and what you don't like. And then you can do your final product planner where you just like really go in there and have fun with it. I am going to be dropping an undated planner very soon with another little piece that will go along with it, which I'm excited about. It'll come out after the subscription box drops, and it'll also be debuting alongside my new faith inserts. So if you are new to planning and you want a planner or you're liking this planner, then I suggest you hold out for the undated version of this planner because this one is dated and we are already into the month of March. But if you don't care, then go ahead. But I am gonna be dropping an undated version, excuse me, version soon. If you're curious about this, once again, check out the sticker uh, tutorial that I did for these episodes. I'm just setting up my dashboard. This is page two of the planner. And like I said, I like to get in here and just have fun with making the planner mine. One thing I think that people forget when they get into digital planning and they're new and they don't really know what to do is they forget to have fun with it. This is supposed to be something that's relaxing and fun. Um, yes, you do write down your tasks and all of those things, but at the end of the day, this is still kind of a release. I mean, we don't really need stickers to plan out our day, you guys, but we just enjoy it. So enjoy it, play with it, find your style. I found mine by just putting a bunch of stuff down and then deciding whether or not I like it. Um, so this is the layering piece that I went over in the stickers. I put that sticker down first on accident when I want it on top. So I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna exit it and I'm gonna paste it again. That way it'll come out on top of that little stack of paper there because if I would have let it go before it would have went underneath it and I don't want that. This uh, app works very similarly to GoodNotes where it works in layers so you have to put 
what you want on top last and what you want on the bottom first. So you're working in reverse. So I put a pocket on top of those. I'm gonna put a little clothes pin or a safety pin, whatever you call these. I don't even, look, paper clips. They're not safety pins, those are for clothes. Um, but anyways, so I'm just putting some layering pieces over here. And I recommend you do this when you buy a planner and just kind of, like I said, make it yours because you're more likely to use it if it looks pretty. That's just kind of a given. It's the way the mind works. We like things that are aesthetically pleasing. We're more likely going to open and look at and use something that looks good. So we've got our front cover, gone ahead and decorated it. We've typed our name on it. This is just a little note from me. You can't see it that well, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm going to copy my name from there and I'm going to paste it here. I'm making sure I'm in the text tool when I do that. And now this is the index. I highly encourage whatever planner you use that you go ahead and click every single thing you see on this page. You don't know what might be linked, um, no matter what planner, like I said, you're using. Discover your planner first before you start using it. Look at any videos that that person might have created for that particular planner. I have a launch video that I made for this planner covering everything from top to bottom about it please watch it. It will give you all the answers that you may have. Um, and it may be long, but these planners are long and you know, we make them to help you. So when you do purchase your planner, you're not going in there lost. I'm currently just building up my pin cased over here, cased, <laughs> my pin case over here, excuse me, so I can color code this. This is considered a year at a glance page. You're pretty, I'm pretty sure you're used to this or seeing this even if you had a paper planner. It's normally a yearly view of every month organized, ready for you to kind of dot up and decide what you want to put where. Um, mine is linked, so if you click on those little mini calendars, it will take you to that particular corresponding month. I've built up my pen case over there for highlighters, and I'm just going to put two categories over here on this chart that you cannot really see that well. If you purchase my planner, I have the planner in four different versions. There's a version that also has black font. So if you have struggle singing and the light gray is a little bit of a problem, then I highly recommend that you use the darker font version of my planner so that you can see better. But I am just going in here and I'm marking it up and having fun with it. Like I said, it's a planner but it is still something that you can get your creative juices flowing with. Now, if you're not much of a creative person, this may feel kind of daunting to you, but I highly recommend just doing what you're comfortable with and not trying to copy what someone else does. So that would mean getting off of social media, don't watch anybody else plan while you're planning your uh, planner video, at least when you're doing your setup, because then you might start comparing and you may feel like you're not doing it right, but there's no wrong or right way to do this. Once you start getting into your planner and setting it up the way that you want it, that is how you do your thing. I had too many pinks going on there, so I was like, oh, let me, let me change up some of my coloring here. <laughs> so I'm going into the preset color palettes that they have inside of J Notes, and I'm just kind of changing up some of the options. Very similar to Samsung Notes with the color palettes that have uh, that they have in there, which I really like when you're not really in the mood to try to build one. Um, <laughs> with the subscription boxes that I will be doing, though, I will give the color palettes um, for each uh, kit that I do. That way you can, you know, match up your highlighters and stuff. I was playing around with this over on the sidebar and I realized you could reorganize your pin case, which I think is really, really nice. But anyways, so yeah, color code your stuff for holidays, birthdays, whatever kind of day <laughs> um, that you wanna have inside of your planner and then label it off. This is a great way to get started in planning because it lets you kind of plan out your year. And when you finish, you may feel really accomplished. Now, you do not have to use your whole planner in one day, like set the whole thing up in one day. You can totally break this up. I know I do. Um, Cause you never know what might change or like what your preference may be. So I'm just gonna label these off, you know, holidays, work date, you know, stuff like that to just kind of set myself up for success. Um, I do intend to release a planner very, very soon where it's really just designed for quick planning because that's kind of something I want personally. So I figure if I want it, maybe someone else may want it too. I will go further into detail because obviously that doesn't really give much away later on. It will definitely be closer to that fall point of the year. I have a lot of projects I'm working on right now, but 
just be on the lookout. If you are new here to the series and you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment below and like this video and check out my Etsy shop where I have all of these products so that you can check them out. But yes, I am just typing in my categories that I would personally make. You can put whatever categories you want, um, whether it's homeschooling dates or whatever you want off to the side. And then when you swipe, you have a vision board. You can set this up whenever you're ready. I have some vision board inserts to help if you are a little um, intimidated by making a vision board. This is kind of set up for you to kind of go in and do what you think you may need. And then after that, you can go into planning your actual month. My planner is really not all that complex. It's very simple. So you have a monthly dashboard for each month. You can go in and you can decorate this. You can put your favorite memories over there where it's dotted. You can put your important dates. You can look at your mini calendar, top priorities. Um, you can list off anything that you need within that little scheduling area. Like I said, you could put your memories over here with pictures and then you have your actual month view. Um, your month view is just going to be where you put and plan your month. Just like if you have a uh, calendar that you're hanging up in your house, the week view is a dashboard view. So you will have your uh, errands and all of those things, and you'll just fill those out accordingly. If you don't like that view, you can use one of the custom buttons below and you can merge your um, other views because I did give other views inside of the Dropbox. So if you don't like that week view, you can just merge a new one in and boom, there's another weekly view that you can use. It is the master view, which will allow you to see your full week scheduled out by the hour. So yeah, those are some of the things that I would personally do. If there's anything that you all want to see, like I said, please put it below. Um, but that was just something that I wanted to share so that you can understand when you get your new planner to not be overwhelmed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe below. Hit that bell notification to stay updated on all things new. And I will see you all next time. Bye.